Hello, what is this? It says on it, oh, something's already fallen off it. Um, it says masterpiece, 10 amps, 250 volts AC, BS5733. I kept reading that as 55733 and of course I couldn't find that, but no, 5733. So BS5733 is a British standard for general requirements for electrical accessories safety and performance requirements electrical accessories that do not fall under a specific individual british standard so it just says this is uh, a general standard for electrical safety so what is this thing well it's branded masterpiece now i don't know whether that's got anything to do with master plug patent applied for uh, you can see each connector is 10 amps 250 volts ac total maximum load must not exceed uh, 13 amps 250 volts AC so what this is is a six-way um, extension lead connector thing and at first glance the pinout looks like IEC yeah an IEC C15 which has this little notch which apparently uh, has something to do with thermal ratings so this uh, would be called a kettle plug whereas people tend to call this one a kettle plug but it's not because it doesn't have the notch now although it looks like the pinouts are the same i can't actually put that in there because of that little notch well peg i suppose it is in there so the alternative is can i put this c13 connector down inside here that should fit but it's too big now i found if i remove this one that if i force it yes i can get it in and yes it will connect but it's very tight and that seems to me to be mostly down to the fact that this um, surround is very thin on the masterpiece connector much thicker on the iec c13 connector the only screw on here is under this bit of tape which i put on there um, to stop that screw falling out the screw holds this cover on but unfortunately this black plastic has become old and uh, fractured and bits of black plastic fell out of this thing so the cover covers over where's my torch um the connectors now the top one is neutral i believe yes there's an n in there the center one is earth and the bottom one is live and there's a electrical uh, strip running down under here but i do believe this is glued together because i can't see any other screws holding it together um so i'm not sure i'm going to be able to take that apart any further but yeah you just run a cable into here connect it up to neutral earth and live there's a little i think it's a neon i don't think that's an led uh oh yes it does look like a neon don't know whether you can see that but uh there's a bit of shrouding on the wire that goes in there but yeah pretty certain that's a neon um so let's take this bit apart as far as i can um there's a little plastic oh uh, cover there which i guess means that you can put a label in there um, it covers a screw so let's get a screwdriver I can see cracks in this plastic as well I've got a feeling this plastic so old that it's all gone brittle oh yeah that's all broken into pieces uh, let's have a closer look in there uh, so yeah there's a clamp to hold down your uh, piece of three core wire three terminal connectors inside there um, this very large thumb grip which seems rather excessive but it does lead to this thing being nice and symmetrical <laughs> so perhaps that's why they did it and the connector pins which we can have a look at which are definitely the same pitch and size as an IEC um, but with this notch and as I say this wall is significantly thinner if I put those two here um, you should be able to see the thickness of that wall or the thinness of it 
which makes uh, fitting this into here not entirely a good fit. So on uh, in the internet, <laughs> years ago I used to have a neat adapter tucked down the back of my fish tank made by Masterpiece. Uh, was it one of these jobbies? So here's one in white. Looks like it was possibly a bit older and has kind of fallen apart. Someone has labelled it uh, there. Uh, exactly what I'm looking for. Better start saving. So possibly it was quite expensive. And here are a couple of images, uh, both from eBay. This one has a very old looking black one. Same spec, 6 amp, 250 volts AC. British Standard 5733 Masterpiece England and it looks like these pins possibly round although the way this has been photographed it's not completely uh, certain about that. Those definitely look like round pins. Again a slightly different font here but clearly a very old uh, plug but yeah maybe this thing started off with round pins and then they sort of tried to harmonize it with um, the IEC connectors. Now because the plastic's all just breaking into pieces, clearly aged beyond its usefulness, uh, this is going to go down the tip. One thing I did notice is that there are, and I'll put them, oh no, they actually focuses on that, um, there are shutters in here. Uh, they're very primitive, it looks like there's a spring across the middle there and then as the connector goes down the side it pushes the shutter away but they're not very good shutters because it's fairly easy to just jab my uh, metal spike thing in there. So a sort of half-hearted attempt to shutter these connectors. Not, no shutter on the earth, of course. Now putting Masterpiece England just brought up um, paintings and stuff like that. Masterpiece Electrical um, gives you a Kenyan company specializing in solar and electrical solutions uh, or some the fire shops masterpiece electric fire suite so there's really nothing here on who masterpiece were that i can find and then again on ebay i can only find um stuff about this thing on ebay but this one calls it a new way or new way master plug and then up here new way master plug con block masterpiece four into one mains connection although mine is six into one but the images again show this bs5733 masterpiece england patent applied for uh, you got com block written there um and new way on the front so that's about all i can find about this thing i can't find any connection between oh master plug maybe um the current company master plug has something to do with this but this is also called Masterpiece, so it's all a bit um, of a mystery, I'm afraid. But uh, mainly because of plastic fatigue and um, the fact that this is all just breaking up, I'm afraid this is going to have to go down to the tip because it's not really in any, in any fit state to use, particularly if you're going to put uh, 240 volt or 230 volt mains into it. Uh, so that's it for this one. Cheerio.